For too long, too many LGBT people have suffered in silence. The people that they should have been able to turn to for help, their parents, their doctors, their religious leaders, their teachers, were the ones who told them that who they were was unacceptable and needed to change. And that is why we have agreed six safeguarding principles that we commend to all religious leaders, all religious groups around the world to embrace, to ensure that all who bear the image of God are treated equally and are protected from harm. Because we believe that every person has value before God, we want everyone to have agency in their own lives, to be empowered, to be truly themselves, to be the identity that they've been given by God and able to be open about that and able to be encouraged and supported in being who they are meant to be. Preventing harm is our duty to each other, to our fellow human beings, to vulnerable people, to everybody who's discriminated against, no matter where they're from or who they are. And in our cultures, that is primarily the LGBT plus community. I believe that we live a shared human experience. And in that human experience, we all deserve equal proportionality in this world. LGBTQI people need protection because they have been harmed and discriminated against and prejudiced against. And so we need to protect them. It is our duty to protect LGBTQI people. This is a partnership which is essential in order for us to combine our deep religious beliefs and doctrines with activism and lives of real people. Accountability is really important here. Those who lead institutions of faith have to be held accountable. No one is above the law. 